So now uh, from Jammu and Kashmir, 24 hours after he barged into a police station and thrashed cops, the Jammu and Kashmir minister's son is still roaming scot-free. Telling on the issue, Congress is uh, always known for paramountancy of the law. Law has to take its own course at any cost everywhere. But at the same time, I'm telling you, is it a perception? Is it a, uh, is PDP a complainant? Who is the complainant against uh, Mr. Mia Altaf's son or his family? It is to be seen some other. Uh, if you say that he has beaten the police, police has to come forward. Police has to say that we have been beaten. There is no such case which has come so far in the uh, limelight or it has been conveyed by any authentic agency. Police has been bold. Even police has uh, registered uh, cases. Even uh, some uh, yesterday against army uh, driver who, who was uh, driving recklessly. So you should not uh, say that first you authenticate. Is it a fact? If it is a fact, I agree with you. Law has to take its own course and nobody is above law. Law cannot be compromised. But uh, why to first see always throw... Uh... Farid is joining us with the latest on this. Now, Farid, the, you know, it's a very simple question. Why is he still scot-free? He actually walked into a police station, thrashed up cops. How come he's roaming scot-free? Well, absolutely. More than 24 hours have gone after this uh, shocking incident came to light and uh, still uh, no action against the minister's son. In fact, uh, stony silence from the chief minister, nothing from the government, they're not saying anything on the issue. And uh, in fact, it's not only the opposition PDP, which is aghast at this uh, silence of the chief minister on the issue, but even, in fact, Anings is going in uh, the coalition partner Congress, who uh, really feel hard done by the silence of the chief minister, because in the past, uh, whenever there has been a Congress minister who has been found on the wrong side mm. of the law, the chief minister hasn't wasted a minute to act against him. But uh, when it's a case where his own minister is facing allegations, the chief minister is silent. So clearly pressure going on the government, but still absolutely no action against this uh, powerful, influential minister, Sam. Back to yes, you. Yes, surprisingly, in fact, no action from the police either. Uh, remember, we brought this story to you yesterday. It's been 24 hours, as Farid is telling us. He'd walked into a police station and thrashed cops, and the fact is he still roams scot-free. Because Chief Minister is himself morally very weak after the Haji Yusuf uh, death in uh, uh, mysterious circumstances. So he can't question any of his colleagues. That has been the story for the last three years. And in this, this is the most brazen act uh, committed by anybody related with a ruling national conference. Uh, this has happened inside a police station. and. Uh,